Right, yes. So in the last session, <coughs> up to here, the using uh, pseudo columns alias names in your e plan use of queries. Okay. So up to there, we discussed in the last class, right? Now. And the next one is called as I see your. Okay, come to the next one. So analytical function, analytical function. So, what is analytical functions and uh, how these functions you want to use the ICO, okay? And what are those? Uh, let me check out. <laughs> so analytical functions are uh, simply be called as ICO. There are three types of uh, analytical functions that are there here. So this one we called as the row underscore number function. And second one is called as a rank function. And third one is called as a dense underscore rank function. So these are the three uh, types of analytical functions are there. So row underscore number, rank, and dense rank. Okay, now? now, so generally these functions, how it was working. So let me see one by one. So for example, along with the example, I will explain to you. For example, guys, here uh, I will take here. So, employee name and their values are there. So, these are the two columns we have it here. So, employee name like A, some 85,000. So, B, 72,000. C, 72,000. <coughs> B, okay, 58,000. A, 55,000, F, yes, 48,000. So these are some employees and employees name uh, and their salaries that we have it here. So in this employee salaries, okay, what I did here, uh, employee salaries, whatever it was there, those salaries uh, I was arranging, okay, into some descending order, okay, into some descending order. So after arranging your salaries into particular order, either ascending or descending, so, <laughs> so based on that, uh, based on the employee salaries, now I need to generate what now ranking numbers. Okay, so that means, okay, what we said these functions <clears throat> are used to generate. Okay, rank numbers, numbers. Okay, to each to each row wise or a group of rows wise. Group of rows automatically. <clears throat> so generally analytical functions we are using guys here to generating rank numbers. To generating rank numbers on each row wise, otherwise uh, the each group of rows wise. Okay, but here the rank numbers, how we can generate means uh, <clears throat> we all of you know, for example, if I want to give a rank numbers to the student, okay, no? so if I want to give a rank numbers to the student, what we want to do, so we are going to be based on what we want to give a rank numbers means, uh, so based on the student's marks. So student marks wise, we can give a rank numbers. Okay, now student uh, mark wise, we can give a rank numbers. So same to same. So which student is getting uh, highest salary? So highest salary students are getting first rank, second highest, second rank, third highest, third rank. So like this, we are assigning ranking numbers to students based on their marks. In the same to same, suppose if I need to give the ranking numbers to the employees. 
So there are different manner I can give it. So one is based on their salaries wise, we can give a ranking numbers. So which employees having highest salary? So first rank, second highest, second rank, third highest, third rank. So like this, we can give it. Same to same employee, their experience advisor. That means, uh, okay, which employee is having more experience in the company? So he's the first priority of the company. That means rank number one. So your rankings are nothing but what now, guys, your priorities. So we are giving priority to whom, first of all? Okay, the ranks are telling us priority of the person. Okay, now. So what is the status of the person or priority of the person we got? Okay, so here, so salary-wise, we can give it. So experience-wise, we can give it. Performance-wise, we can give it ranking numbers. Okay, now. So these are what now, the rank numbers, how it was going to be working. And uh, what are the functions here? Analytical, rank, and dense rank. But in these three functions, what is the difference here? Let me see. For example, suppose I want to give ranking numbers to employees based on their salaries. Okay, now based on their salaries. So based on the salaries means what I want to do, like first of all, I want to arrange those salaries into descending order. <clears throat> okay, now the descending order we can arrange first of all. So we are arranging some values here, like 85, 72. Okay, some order we will be arranging here. After arranging those salaries into particular order, uh, on that order of salaries, let me see we want to apply what ranking functions. So first of all, we can say row underscore number function. So this is one function type of analytical. Second one is called as the rank function. This is one type of function in analytical. Third one is called as the dense underscore rank function. This is one type of function in your tenth rank. Okay, now, so these are the three analytical functions, but the difference is what it is observed. So row number function, what it will do, so this function will be generating each row wise, okay, the numbers are generated. So that means row underscore number will not be comparing your data. So whatever the salaries I have it here, so the salaries are not comparing here. Okay, now, so it is not a comparing now. Just what it will do, <coughs> it was giving row numbers. Like for example, this is one row, right? This is row number one, this is row number two, this is row number three, row number four, row number five, row number six. So row underscore, in the name only that, row underscore number. So each row wise, the numbers will be generated, but uh, it doesn't comparing your salaries. <coughs> it doesn't checking your salaries also. It doesn't check in your salaries also. Just a row wise the numbers are done with. Like one, two, three, four, five, <coughs> and six. So row wise, how many rows are there? The rows that we are going to be generating guys here. Okay now, that is row underscore number. Okay now. So but here row underscore number, what was happening? Row underscore number what it was going to be done. So it doesn't go to comparing any value or it doesn't go to checking because here you can see, suppose if it is comparing the data, 72,000, 72,000, these two employees are having same salary. So when they're getting same salary means that they're expecting same rank number, right? Suppose your row number will be assigning ranking numbers based on the data. Definitely here it will be changed. But guys, what happened? Your data will not be, that means your data is not comparing here. So 72, 72, these values are not comparing row number, just it was giving row wise numbers are generated. Okay, now, right. But where has come to rank and dense rank. So rank and dense rank. So these are going to be assigning or generating ranking numbers with the, after comparison of data is all. So data first it was compared. So first one what, second one what, third one what. So this kind of uh, the values will be compared here. So after comparison is done, then it will go to as I'm arranging your ranking numbers. So let you see. So rank function definitely it was going to be comparing each and every salary data. <coughs> okay, now right. So now we can see here 70, okay, 85,000. So first rank as usual, 72,000 second rank, 72,000, for example, if I want to give the uh, second rank. Uh, 
and uh, next uh, 68,000 is going to be fourth rank and 55, fifth rank, 48, and sixth rank. So this is ranking function nature. But here, carefully observe. So, okay, fine. 85,000 is a first highest salary. So I was given first rank in my rank function. Okay, now I was given first rank in rank function. So 72, 72. Seventy-two, seventy-two. <laughs> so seventy-two, seventy-two means uh, <clears throat> yes, definitely. We should give a same rank number, rank number two and rank number two. Okay, up to there it's good. There is nothing problem in ranking function. But come to after okay, seventy same salary and same rank number we assigned. That's okay. But after second rank, as per the sequence of ranking numbers, after second we are expecting here what now three. Third rank we are expecting. But unfortunately, the third rank is going to be skipped here, your rank function. <clears throat> so unfortunately, your uh, third sequence or third ranking number is going to be skipped here. So this is actually the problem of rank function. Okay, this is actually the problem of rank function. So what it was happened, when same salaries are there, 72 or 72, so it was giving same rank number, so there is nothing problem. But after second rank, we are expecting three, but it doesn't show three. It was going to be skipped. The next sequence number that is called the next rank number will be skipped. And later it will give four and five and six. <clears throat> but here the problem is getting now. Here the problem is there. So to avoiding this problem of rank function, what the people was introducing here, dense underscore rank. So dense underscore rank, how it was arranging your data to one, and year two, and year two, and three, and four, and five. So <clears throat> the dense underscore rank is clearly showing us the ranking numbers based on the salary, and salary will be comparing here. Okay, so first highest 85, first highest rank, 72, 72. <clears throat> These are the second rank people. And after second rank here, exactly three and four and five. So that means here what happened here, the value will be, the next value will be skipped here. The value will be skipped here. But here, there is no skipping of any value. There is no, okay, no? there is no skip of any value. So there, after the third one is skipped in rank function, but here two after, there is no skip, it was giving so accurate ranking numbers by using of dense underscore rank function. Okay, no? so these are the differences. That means a row underscore number will not be comparing the data so that it doesn't give any ranks here. It just giving row numbers only. <clears throat> okay, no? so how many rows are there in your table? That row numbers only give it. But whereas come to rank function and dense rank functions, these two functions are comparing your data and based on the data, based on the data, it was going to be allocating ranking numbers. But the problem is what now? A rank function will skip the next rank number in the order, but uh, dense underscore will not be skipped. Okay, you know? so dense underscore will give accurate ranking numbers without skipping any number or any order of the number. So in their list. Okay, you know? so <clears throat> this is what we call as guys here. So rank and dense rank here. Okay, you know? fine. So these are the differences of row number, rank, and depth. Now the syntax is up. So what is the syntax of this? Means, yeah, I want to give you an analytical function. Analytical <coughs> function name over of. Here we are using partition by cross. Partition by, and we are sending here column name. Okay, right. But here partition by column name. This is we called as a optional clause we call so that's why i kept into optional bracket so can you see i kept into optional bracket and later i'm using what now order by so let you send your column name and after that so ascending order means ASC that we know and if you want it descending for that so this is <coughs> analytical function syntax here so whenever you want to apply the syntax so we can use it this you can use it, yes. Okay, now, fine. 
So now let me see <coughs> the examples I'm showing now. Now come to first of all our working table. Let's select the star from EMP. So this is our working table, guys. Okay. Now, so there are 14 employees and the salaries also we have it here. Okay. Uh, now let me see first one. Selected. Suppose I'm taking E name and uh, sal. Okay. Here I want to apply row number function. Row number function I'm applying. So carefully observe. So row number over, okay, here partition I'm not using, that's order by, okay, order by class and uh, the salary, that's keyword, okay. And uh, so I want to say as a uh, yeah, row number with alias names, numbers, okay, from EMP case. Okay, now, so in this case, just a few columns I selected and I was applied row underscore number function over order by Okay, class uh, salary, okay, na? and from EMP table. But before that, you should know it. Here I said, in this syntax, whatever the partition by class is there, so it's partition by class. Partition by class is there. So this partition by class is called as an optional. So it's not a mandatory class, it's an optional class. But your order by is compulsory and mandatory. Order by is a compulsory and mandatory. Okay, mandatory clause. Okay, now, so these are to be remembered now. And let me come out guys here. Okay, so here I'm not using any order, uh, partition here, I'm not using because it's optional, but I'm using here order by class, it is a compulsory. So, what it was going to be happen, guys, here, first of all, this order by class will be executed. And uh, the salaries, whatever it was there, the salaries are arranging into descending order. Okay, first the salaries are arranging into descending order. So after arranging into descending order, okay, then what it was happened on those salaries, uh, on those uh, descending order salaries, just your row number over that, over that, over that data, over that data. So your row underscore number is just generating your numbers. Okay, one, two, three, four, like it was generating numbers. Okay, now, right. Let me see, guys, here. Now we can see. So, E name, so employee names are there, and salaries. And salaries are, you can see, every one or every salary was going to be arranged into descending order. Can you check out here? Every salary is going to be arranged into descending order. And uh, here, row underscore numbers, you can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So 14 rows, okay. So that means here, row underscore number function, what we <clears throat> what we understand as here. So it doesn't go to checking your data. It doesn't go to comparing your data. So it's just uh, how many rows are there in your table. For every row wise, uh, the number is predicted. Okay, now this is the row number working style and come to next one you can see when i go for to take here <laughs> rank function suppose if i'm using just these are without a, a partition by class i'm using guys so rank function okay so over and remaining as it is i have to take Now I just go to execute now. So here, here compulsory rank function will compare in your data. So I'm giving alias name is ranks, okay, from EMP table. Okay, in this case, the subject, the function, how it is working, I'm showing first of all. Okay, guys, the functions difference is what and how it was working, I'm showing by using of these examples. Right. Now here you can see. So here 5,000, so rank number one. 
So 3,000, that means this fraud and scot, these two employees are having same salary. The fraud and scot, these both employees are having same salary, right? So same rank number I was given, two, two. Okay, next, uh, next highest, uh, four. But you can see, so these are the second highest salary employees. But after second rank, what we are expecting here? What we are expecting here? Third rank. But unfortunately, the third rank is not showing now, right? There is no third rank. It was the third rank is going to be skipped here. Third rank is going to be skipped here and directly jump to fourth one. And again, you can see the four is okay, the 2975, four, and 285, 246, 16, okay. 15, it's okay up to here. Again, if I want to take a 1250 and 1250. So again, what happened guys, you know, 1250, 1250, again, same salary. So again, same salary means what I want to do, same rank number. Okay, I was given same rank number, 10, 10. But after 10, what we want expected here, 11. But 11 is not there. 11 is not there. Again, it will come to 12 and 13, 14. So here it will be skipped here, the 11th rank number. And here skipping, the third rank number is skipped. So that means wherever the duplicate values are, there, for example, this is called a duplicate, right? So wherever the duplicate values are there, every duplicate value, okay, every duplicate value, your rank number will be skipped. That is one of the drawback of your rank function. For every duplicate value, okay, the next rank number will be skipped here. So now that's why you're skipping here, third one skip, and you're skipping here, okay, so, 11th one, 11 is going to be skipped. So this is the working of rank. Same as when come to suppose I have to pass a rank function. Okay, so over the order by class, and I'm using okay now to execute it now. And then from the for rank working nature and working style, you can see now. So 5,000, first highest and number one, 3,022, it's okay. And the C, the next 2975, so clearly giving us third rank. Understand that? 